way for the Republican Party to kind of move in and co-opt the energy of the Tea Party movement. So, for instance, I was told that the organizers had voted to invite Michael Steele, the RNC chairman, to come and speak at the convention. So there's a lot of fear among the more sort of grassroots types in the movement that there, this is the Republican Party's kind of play to take over the Tea Party movement. And that also is sort of against everything that the Tea Party movement has always stood for. It seems to me like there's two different ways to look at this. One is to say that there's a bunch of different types of organi organization within the Tea Party movement. There's the guy running it as a business, which is happening with the convention. There's a group, another Tea Party group, the Tea Party Express and its associated right. pack that is set up essentially by a Republican PR firm that seems to be sort of turning all of its money, its donations back to that PR firm, at least most of them. TPM having done a lot of uh, reporting on that. But then there's also, there, there are also groups that do seem to be legitimately grassroots. The question is, are, can they symbiotically work together or is there animosity? Is, are, are, are they, is one group going to try to fight to beat out the other types of organizing? Um, well, there is definitely animosity right now, but the interesting thing is it's not like those distinctions are completely clear because, the, the, as you said, the Tea Party Patriots, which is the group that can make sort of the most legitimate claim to be a kind of grassroots group, has from the start been working with a group called Freedom Works, mm -hmm. which, as you know, is Dick Armey's group, who's the former Republican majority leader and whose, whose group Freedom Works is backed by corporations. So there's never been some sort of original, pure Tea Party movement that, that was absolutely free from this taint of politics. Politics and, and corporate money. Um, and I think that's probably true of any kind of movement like this. There's shades of gray. And um, right now, the different parts are not working too well together. Although I would say the original, like the sort of pre this election cycle, libertarian Tea Party folks, that really, it's almost a completely separate movement. But they know they feel ripped off <laughs> in part by the folks who have come around in this cycle. So it seems to me like it's, it's one of the most interesting things going on in American politics right now because it is changing so much, um, but also because every new bit of reporting seems to set off yet another firestorm within the movement. Um, and you've helped us cover it a lot with your reporting. So thanks a lot, Zach. Thanks for having me. Zach Roth is with Talking Points Memo. All right. Since leaving her post as governor of Alaska last summer, we have all had the same concern. Will Sarah Palin find a job?